Hey guys, Josh with RussellMarineProducts.com and some more Garmin products for you. Today we're doing on the water with the Echomap Ultra 126 SV. Alright guys, like I said, we're on the water today with the Echomap Ultra 126 SV. Going to be showing you some of the menu options on this. Also, we want to show you some of the action from the GT54 UHD transducer that we have trolling motor mounted. So, on the home screen, it's set up really nice. This is factory. We haven't messed with this thing. We haven't customized it or anything like that. Um, it's got all your buttons. We do have live scope installed on this guy, so you'll see the pan optics tile appear on the menu. Um, when you don't have pan optics installed, that actually won't even show up. That's only when you hook up the box. Just something to keep in mind there. Very intuitive controls. Um, some of the little things on the home screen we'll go over real quick. The Active Captain, something we went over the other day as well. It's an app you download to your phone or iPad, tablet, anything like that. You can go over mapping, do your updates, um, upload mapping updates, and be a part of their um, mapping community through that Active Captain. So that's a cool feature. Um, let's take a look at some of the charts. So you have your different options here. You have a couple things um, from Garmin that are a little different. To be honest, we don't use them that much. We haven't played with it that much, but this Fish Eye 3D, Mariner's Eye 3D, they're pretty cool. Um, if you dig like Atari, um, they're, they're pretty slick. But for us and our purposes today, we're not gonna be using those. Just bumped into the fishing chart here. You'll see the colors that stand out on the depth shading. Um, this is something you can control yourself. You can set the ranges of it. You can go all the way down to one foot um, with the uh, Lakeview maps. On here, if you want to play with some of the shading, just go into menu, layers, water, and depth shading. As you can see, we got our zero to five feet all the way down to 20 to 40. You can add other depth ranges to that and you can customize the colors as you like. Back on back. So this is a cool thing to talk about here. If you want to go back and say, okay, I'm done with mapping completely, you can hit home or you can keep hitting back and get to your screen where you can see what you're doing. So let's go ahead and hit that home button now. Take a look at some of the sonar options. So this is kind of where we're getting the meat and potatoes on that GT54 UHD. We'll start with the traditional sonar. Garmin sonar is a true chirp sonar multiple, multiple frequencies that you can, that'll auto select in that chirp feature. It is not your standard low, medium, high. Um, I believe it's a dozen different frequencies that it'll run on um, and it'll auto set itself to optimize looking at the depth of water you're at. Um, you can also go in there and manually change that as well. 2D, pretty basic. We're running along a shoreline here. We're in some super high waters. We've had monsoons the last couple weeks, just running along some trees. It is what it is. It's your 2D sonar. The true chirp is something you'll see as we run over different depths and things like that that'll really stand out to you. But other than that, it's just a good, solid, standard 2D sonar. Go on home. Go back into sonar. Take a look at the clear view. Clear view is Garmin's terminology for down imaging. Go check. And there we go. So again, we're running along a, a flooded shoreline here. So you can see some of the grass structure that's along the bottom that's not necessarily usually underwater, um, but you can see that nice and clearly. There's many options. You can change color palettes, um, contrast, brightness, rain, anything you want to do on there, you can absolutely do. Um, just for giggles, we can go into some of the options here. Look at your depth lines, go in the color scheme. This is a kind of a cool thing to talk about with most of the Garmin things, uh, their full line of color schemes. The more we play with these guys, the more we find, just like you would on other things, different water conditions really, really stand out in different color schemes. For us, in this chocolate milk we're running in right now, copper is the way to go. We've loved it. It's worked great in this chocolate milk water. In contrast, if you're running with polarized glasses on a sunny day, you might check out this black emerald. It's a super bright highlighter green. Um, I hope the camera's doing this justice. You can actually see the clarity of it right now. Um, even without uh, the sunglasses on. But polarized glasses, guys, this black emerald is amazing. We're gonna go back. We're gonna leave it on black emerald for a while. I like the way it looks. So, side view. 
pretty self-explanatory. You're looking at side imaging here, guys. We're gonna get positioned back on this shoreline, so hopefully we can show you some of the structure. Again, I hope the camera's doing this justice, guys, because you can really see outstanding detail with it. Um, this is not the video in which we'll compare transducers one to another that will come down the road. But what I can say right now is I'm, I'm loving the clarity of this, guys. I think it's gonna stand up to other options out there. If the side imaging and down imaging clarity is something that's been holding you back from Garmin and making that plunge, don't let it. It's, it's a great looking sonar, guys. Yeah. Again, one thing we wanna keep clear on this, this is mounted on the trolling motor, so it is gonna look a little bit different are especially in side view as the trolling motor pitches and follows the shoreline. It's not your standard running in a straight line seeing your, your uh, side view as you could in a normal transom mount. Again, guys, on this side view, running along the shoreline here, I'm starting to pick up some of these small schools of fish that are hanging out in these uh, submerged trees in this high water we're having right now. Again, I guess I'll just keep beating a dead horse. The clarity's fantastic, really liking it. So with all these, you can go into some of their combo screens. Combo screens um, are gonna allow you to do your mapping um, with overlays for sonar and everything in split screen combinations. When you go into your split screens for your combos, there are four that come standard. Um, you've got the mapping and the, the 3D, uh, dual mapping with zoomed in, mapping and, and sonar, and a shading with sonar. Um, this is something we've played with the other day and added one there. Um, you can go through and select these again. Really great, really intuitive controls. Couldn't be more happy. Let me go back, go into the sonar screen. If you don't want to do a split with mapping in sonar, you can stay in the sonar home uh, menu and you can start selecting what you want to do. You can do the singles as we just went over, or you can look at traditional plus clear view, clear view plus side view, traditional clear view, split frequencies, and you can add more to it. Let's take a look at uh, a clear view and side view and see what we've got in our down versus side imaging. You can see the structure we're picking up on the sides, still that grass we were seeing earlier, really outstanding. Um, something else to point out here, as you can see the color contrast, as you set that color scheme in the individual sonar screens, it will stay that way when you go back to split it. So again, we're running the copper, that's been really good for our milky water, and that emerald, that the black emerald, that's really good with polarized glasses on these bright days. All right, guys, again, from that sonar screen, uh, multiple options to set that up and see how just way you want it set up. Um, way to go. Let's hit home. Real quick, as we talked about in the install videos, we are running the LVS32 live scope with this guy. Um, we're gonna do some more videos specifically on that with screen recording. Um, guess that brings up a good point. On the Echomap Ultras, fantastic units. They do not allow screen recording. So if you are into that, that's something you wanna do, you're gonna wanna bump up and some of the GPS map units. Um, we're gonna do a video um, here in a few days um, with some screen recording on LiveScope. On that, we'll be using the 8600 series at 8612. But while we're here, let's pull it up. So here we are. We've got the LiveScope pulled up. Still just absolutely fascinated by this, guys. It's, it's fantastic. As we're trying to point it and aim it with the trolling motor, you can look into the structure um, gives this look of, of super raw footage to let you decipher it. I'm going to come over here. I'm actually going to play with this color a little bit. Let's see what the black emerald does today. Eh, back to copper and that chocolate milk. It really cleans stuff up. Got a little guy coming across the bottom there. But again, with the Echo Map Ultra, the possibilities of having the LVS32 live scope and also hooking up that LVS12, that 499, one third of the price to get your 30 degrees of down, 30 degrees of forward. Always an option to keep in mind that is plug and play with the Echo Map Ultras. Uh, the only other units that are available with are the 8600 series. All right guys, so there we are. The Echo Map Ultra 126 SV and that GT54 UHD transducer. Barely scratching the surface of what this thing got, this thing is capable of, guys. Uh, make sure you give us a call if you have any questions. Send us an email at sales at russellmarineproducts.com and watch for more Garmin videos in the future. We're going to be digging into this thing a lot deeper this summer, I promise you. See you next time.